Tammy has done this wonderful, <laughs> she hates this, but she has done this wonderful clip sweat. And this is a really great way to incorporate some food storage items into foods that you normally already eat. Um, it's called the Essential Food Storage Cookbook. Um, there are just Natural Meals in Minutes by Rita Bingham, Country Beans. Some of these are on your order form. You can get them at Emergency Essentials different places. This Eating Off the Grid is one that I really like a lot. Um, is that one going to be on the all these going to be on the order form? Or just uh, the all of them or most of them. Oh, okay. Except for not Tammy's isn't, but we, all, we always have a good source to get that one. <laughs> or it's a desert book. Okay, emergency food in a nutshell has some good ideas of incorporating. And then cook them with home storage. And there's a ton of other ones out there. These are just a few different things. Is there a favorite one you have? You know what? I, I use different recipes for lots of different ones. But I have, I don't know if you can see how thick that is. But these are all bean recipes. And they will be on the lanternfarms.com website. So you can go to that and you can print them out. This one's called the Pinto Bean Cookbook. Millions of different ways to use beans. This one's called Luscious Lagoon Recipes. This one just says beans. These are bean cuisine. Okay, so you can't say that you didn't have any recipes to start trying. So I'm going to it anyway. Lamptonfarms.com. Alrighty. The last thing is that I wanted to talk about is part of the thing that's been difficult for me in incorporating these things into my regular meals is because it will come to be 4 o'clock and I'll say, <laughs> I don't plan ahead enough. And every time that I have made a meal plan and stuck with it, we eat better and we eat more variety of meals and different things. And so that's what I gave you this for. Okay, take this. You can look at some recipes. Um, you can put, you can start, you could do this just for your food storage, or you could do this and make a list of the meals that you already have, and then maybe find some recipes. Well, I want to try that, and, and, or say, I'm going to make a, a quinoa dish this night, and then, you know, whatever, however you want to do it. This one, I just just put one together just to kind of give you an example of what you could do and see how varied that your meals can be. It would be a really good idea to do a 30 to 90 day meal plan of things that you would use. Because if I know that I have planned to do rice and beans on Thursday, then and um, it's on the list, my kids will, will make sure they do that. Okay, what do we have for dinner that day? That's a big deal for them. So they um, then then you'll remember to soak your beans and stuff because it's on the plan. Does anybody else have any other ideas of how to? I was just going to say, around town you can buy all those things in bulk at the health food store. If you want to just try a little bit, you can buy any quantity. They have them in bulk that you can do. Okay. If you want to experiment with them, something you don't have. And like in Bob's Red Mills, they have them in really small yeah. things. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready to try some things? <laughs> it's always stressful to try and make so many different things on one day and hope that they turn out well enough. Um, we have we have a lot of different things. I think I mentioned most of them. We did um, a lentil and rice dish, yes. kind of kind of a side dish. Um, some of these we gotta make sure that we have salt and pepper because I didn't get to try them to make sure that they're perfect <laughs> and that they're exactly how I want them. But I'll just give you some ideas of some different things that you can do with with some beans, from desserts to um, just main meals and different things like that. Um, okay. We did. I did a, a bowl of millet and quinoa and some brown rice. And you can. We've got some beans that you can top those with. Other. Also, we're just going to put. Normally, you don't eat rice plain. You usually put some butter and salt and pepper or something on it. So we'll have some butter and salt and peppers. If you want to just try the millet, try the quinoa, just to see what it tastes like plain. You can do that too. So we're going to bring that in. We're just going to set this on here. And then what we'll do is we'll have you grab a plate, get some silverware, and then we'll just put it on here and you can go. And then um, try some things. I do have the recipes, but I noticed a few problems that some typos and um, things that I need to fix and change to have to get the in it. And so um, I will just email that out. Any other questions before we do this? Thank you.
know what? I need to say one more thing. Okay. Um, Jeff, you said that you were going to talk about the Bible and how it is So that can be placed with us. That's great. 